Given the Queen's age, 96 years old, there's always concern when we hear doctors are worried about her health, but especially this morning, learning that her children and family are traveling to be with her. The announcement comes a day after the Queen canceled a virtual meeting of her Privy Council when doctors advised her to rest following a full day of events on Tuesday when she formally asked Liz Truss to become Prime Minister, the Queen's 15th Prime Minister appointee. A spokesperson for the palace says Queen Elizabeth remains comfortable at Balamora in Scotland and has not been taken to the hospital. Still, it's deeply concerning for England. The House of Commons speaker interrupted the energy debate this morning to tell members of Parliament about the Queen's health. I know I speak on behalf of the entire House when I say that we send our best, best wishes to Her Majesty the Queen and that she and the Royal Family are in our thoughts and prayers at this moment. Truss and other senior UK leaders tweeted their support and well wishes. Truss on Twitter saying the whole country will be deeply concerned by the news from Buckingham Palace this lunchtime. The Privy Council, a group of the monarch's senior advisors, was due to formally swear in Truss and her new cabinet members on Wednesday at a meeting. The session will be held at a later date. And a spokesperson for Buckingham Palace says also confirmed that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are on their way to Scotland to be with the Queen. Back to you, Frank.